Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Sunday, May 5th. It's the third Sunday of the Easter season, and week two in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 114 and 115. John 21, verse 15 to 25. And a canticle from 1 Chronicles, chapter 29, verses 10, 11, and 13. And join me now in singing the third verse of At the Lamb's High Feast. Mighty victim from on high, Hell's fierce powers beneath thee lie. Thou hast conquered in the fight, Thou hast brought us life and light. Now no more can death appall, now no more the grave enthrall. Thou hast opened paradise, and in thee thy saints shall rise. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. Alleluia. Psalms 114 and 115. And please recite them with me. Alleluia. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, from an alien people. Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. The sea saw and fled. Jordan was turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. Why, O oh sea, did you flee? Why, Jordan, were you driven back? Why, mountains, that you skipped like rams, and you little hills like lambs? Tremble, earth, at the presence of God most high at the presence of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, which turned the rock into a pool and the flint into a fountain of waters. Alleluia. Not to us, God most high, not to us, but to your name give the glory for your mercy's sake, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens, and our God does whatever God pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses they have, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet they have, but they cannot walk. Neither can they speak through their throat. And they that make them are like them, and so is everyone that trusts in them. O oh, Israel, trust in the Most High. God is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron and Elizabeth, trust in the Most High. God is your help and your shield. You that fear the Most High, trust in the Most High. God is your help and your shield. And the Most High has been mindful of us. God will bless us. God will bless the house of Israel. God will bless the house of Aaron and Elizabeth. And God will bless them that fear the Most High, both small and great. The Most High shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed by God Most High, who made heaven and earth. The heavens are God's, but the earth is given to its peoples. The dead do not praise you, Most High, neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless you from this time forth and forevermore. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 21, beginning at verse 15. Jesus and Peter. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. 
And Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, the son of John, do you love me? And Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. And after this, he said to Peter, Follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper, and it said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. And so the rumor spread throughout the community that this disciple would not die. And yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them. And we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us lest we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. Alleluia! A canticle from the first book of Chronicles. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. Yours is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty, for all that is in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. And now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.